22 minutes after the hour, America. If you missed uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at the podium yesterday, you missed the best conference of the year, uh, press conference. I always disclose my son works at State Department, so I, and Mike Pompeo is an old friend. He's been on doing this show for a decade or more, and I've known uh, and uh, he and uh, Mrs. Pompeo have been guests in my home. And so I just, uh, you have to know he's a friend, but I still love this press. He's under attack, allegedly, uh, for firing uh, an IG I've never heard of before. And uh, he began by answering that question about whether or not uh, IG Linux should have been fired. Cut number four. So there's been lots of discussion about this. I've read a number of reports. Let me, let me say three things. First, uh, the president has the uh, unilateral right to choose who he wants to be his inspector general at every agency in the federal government. Uh, they are presidentially confirmed positions, and those persons, just like all of us, serve at the pleasure of the president of the United States. In this case, I recommend it to the president that Steve Linick be terminated. Frankly, should have done it some time ago. Uh, there it is, bold. I did it. Mine, I love this about Pompeo. Just stands up there, but I like even more that he is not afraid of his decisions because eh, it's the West Point guy in him. Cut number five. Yeah, unlike others, I, I don't talk about personnel matters. I don't leak to y'all. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just, I'll just say this. I, I can't talk. I can't give you specificity. We'll share with the appreciate people the rationale, but no, no there should be no mistake. But he's there, a there's disability but, official. Does, is it a secret as to why he was fired? May, may I answer the question, if you will? I, I appreciate the question. Uh, let's be clear. There are claims that this was for retaliation, for some investigation that the Inspector General's office here was engaged in. It's patently false. I have no sense of what investigations were taking place inside the Inspector General's office couldn't possibly have retaliated for all the things. I've seen the various stories that like, someone was walking my dog to sell arms to my dry cleaner. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's all just crazy. What it's all, it's all, it's all crazy arms? stuff. Sure. So, so I, didn't have, I didn't have access to that information, so I couldn't possibly have retaliated. It would have been impossible. There's one exception. Uh, I was asked a series of questions in writing. I responded to those questions with respect to a particular investigation that was sometime earlier this year, as best I can recall, responded to those questions. I don't know the scope. I don't know the nature of that investigation other than what I would have seen from the nature of the questions that I was presented. Um, I did what was right. I don't know if that investigation is continuing. I don't know if that investigation has been closed out. I don't have any sense of that. Again, it's not possible to further have been retaliation. You know, it's not possible. And then some reporter says, Bob Menendez, Democrat of New Jersey on the Foreign Affairs Committee has criticized you for doing this. You're unethical. It's wrong. That's what Menendez says. And Mike Pompeo, roundhouse to the right chin of the dummy Menendez. Cut number six. Here's the last thing to think about as you see these stories that have been leaked to you all, right, to the press. This is all coming through the office of Senator Menendez. I don't get my ethics guidance from a man who was criminally prosecuted. Case number 15-155 in New Jersey Federal District Court a man for whom his Senate colleagues bipartisan said basically that he was taking bribes. That's, uh, that's not someone who I look to for ethics guidance. And so I'll continue to do the right thing to make sure the State Department is served by every employee, including our attorney, uh, Inspector General. And we'll make sure the State Department continues to deliver on behalf of the American people. Bravo, Mike Pompeo. Uh, Menendez was admonished in, in 2018 by the Senate for his relationship with a very sketchy guy named Solomon Melgan. In 2017, he was put on trial. It was declared a mistrial, and the DOJ dropped the case. He was accused of accepting free flights and gifts from this uh, lowlife, uh, helped getting visas for the lowlife's girlfriends, assistance in the Medicare billing dispute. Uh, he had been, uh, the, the quote, friend of Menendez had been convicted for fraud. I just love the fact that Mike Pompeo throws back because Republicans for too long have run away from Democrats in the Senate being hypocritical two-faced Janices. Not Mike Pompeo. Way to go, Mike. Hey, don't forget our friends over at Angel Tree. One out of 28 kids in America have a mom or dad in prison. They're going to get help this long, hot summer only if you help us help them. 